Welcome, everyone, to the Real Who Beans cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with Chris. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? So now we're doing the Real Who Beans cast. Um, and I get to talk to Chris about this because I sent it to him for a little while ago. Um, you got it, Chris? That thing? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for it. I, I okay. can't seem to find it, but uh, I remember it pretty, pretty uh, well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. Uh, uh, you know, and I sent it to Chris, and I sent it to Scott, and I sent it to everybody and i just want to see if i can get maybe we'll get scott here too um pull this thing up if i can find it where the heck is it okay oh damn it don't you hate that when things just get screwed up you there krista i am okay hold on hang on gang because uh my computer's getting all screwy. Okay. Is that Scott? Hello. Hello, Scott. Scott. Hello, Chris. Okay. All right, so I'm I'm gonna screen share this. Okay. What's up, Scott? How are you? All right, Scott, we're we're, we're in the rear hoving's caster. All right. Okay. All right, so. This is what I was talking to Chris about, and basically, uh, this is some this is some dialogue from Twice Upon a Time, and this is something that we really weren't expecting Moffat to do. So I'm just going to read this, uh, and again, he the, the creature, the ice creature, I guess this is what this is, and she goes, a female voice says, "We know who you are," and the first doctor's like, "So have you been making it clear?" And then the female voice is like, the bringer of darkness, the imp of the Pandorica, the beast of Trenzalor. Now, we also know that the Great Intelligence said that the doc, there's going to be a doctor that's the beast. Yeah. And of course, this is right after that name of the doctor, because in Trauma the Doctor, do you think that the 11th doctor became the beast because... To Transalor, he's a beast because he destroyed just about the whole planet with regeneration energy, you think? Or for what, what this he, is saying here, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, same here. Because he he devastated the he landscape. Left it. He left Because it. by the time we see it with the great intelligence, it's all graveyard. Yeah. It's all dirt. So he probably and wiped everybody. It's bigger than what it generally is in height. So. Yeah, the Beast of Transalor. Uh, and then the first doctor's like, no, no, dear me, no, I'm the doctor. And she's like, you are the doctor of war, meaning the war doctor. And he's like, the doctor, yes, but the doctor of war, never, ma'am, never. Why is Moffat, like, bringing stuff from his era? Like, why is he letting the first doctor know about that stuff? I mean, we know he's going to have it erased. He's not going to remember any of it. Yeah. Well, what do you think the purpose is of that, Chris? I mean, I think personally, it's to it's to try and uh, try and show how far the doctors come. Like hearing these things, he's like, "No, that's not me. I'd never be that." And then you have the twelfth doctor who's like, "Yeah, I'm all of that." Right. I, I think that's what they're trying to say. And then having him like sexist, the first doctor, which would make no, no I sense. I hope not. Yeah, no, me too. I hope that's just a rumor. I don't think so. And Bill shows up and he's like, oh, are you here to clean the TARDIS? Doesn't he tell her that? Or something God, like that? They, they do that. I might just shut it off. Yeah. Like, seriously. I know. This, this is what I'm worried about. I mean, I already had a bad couple of days. But you know, <laughs> like, he may not be being sexist. He may be being a bit racist in that standpoint. That would be, like, it, really, it would be just as bad. But to me, that would be, like, even worse. Yeah. But that's the only thing. If it's not going to be sexist, it's going to be racist. But does he become a woman because he's angry about himself? I mean, is that what the whole... I don't know, man. Yeah, the the way they've got this so screwed up now, I have no idea. But it's just... Now, we know, we also said that uh, we heard, and it's been confirmed now, that there's going to be a body of a Dalek in it and like we said with the contract the Daleks have to appear every year now every year also doesn't mean like every year as in like say 2017 2018 it's a span of a year so 
the time from like the, the fall of the doctor, you know, Doctor Falls. Yeah. They can't have that gap from the Doctor Falls all the way to the first episode because it will be more than a year. So they're making the Dalek appear in the Christmas special so that they would have another year for another appearance. And again, all it has to be is, a, is, a, is, is an a, appearance, a pop-up. Is appearance. And they were saying that the Daleks like made the Doctor see the body of Rusty as an F.U. that your plan failed and there ain't going to be no good Daleks. You know, because supposedly it's the body of Rusty. Wow. Um... So what do you think about that, Chris? I mean, I I think that's a missed opportunity because I think Rusty could have come back in yep. the future, and they could have done something maybe a bit interesting with him. But you know, hey, because he because he would have been a good spinoff or storyline for Epsilon Doc, as far as I'm concerned. Because if you think about it, he was the, Epsilon Doc was the Dalek killer. Right. So here you've got. Yeah, but I don't think they were allowed to use that. I know, but I'm just, I'm just use that as an inference. Just imagine them using him and Rusty comments about, yeah, I encountered someone with the last name Doc, or I encountered somebody who went out of their way to kill my kind until yada, yada, yada. Right. All I know is that I have some concerns with Doctor Who, and hopefully... Um, we don't have some issues that Moffat creates something that's annoying. There was one, I forget his name off the top of my head, but he was talking about how ways that Chibnall could do things, but in both ways, it would alienate in some way, shape, and form. He I just, like, yeah, I just don't want him to there do was a ways whole... he uses. Now, if they went the, the Abrams, he had the Abrams and McFarland method. Abrams would go the way which Discovery did, and he would have to try to find either a new female doctor or a new male doctor to repair what was happening. The McFarland way is pretty much making it sound like you ditch the pre, uh, pre-opening credits. You go back to the whole, uh, like part one, part two, but yet you base it around, uh, I can't remember if you went and said the first through fourth doctor or second through fourth doctor, but, that's pretty much how you would do it, but it would help the show a great deal more. And I'll send you guys the link because I yeah. noticed he uh, comment. I, I don't think they're going to do the, any of those things. I, I think that, I mean, I, I, I'm just, wa- I'm a little afraid because we know Moffat does some fast ones. Mm-hmm. He did, he did this thing, Chris. I don't know if you heard about it with all the stuff that's happening. He tried to explain. First, he said that the curator was the moment and that the curator was not a future incarnation of the doctor. It was the moment showing up at the end of the episode saying, you know, just there saying you got a lot to do, blah, blah, blah. But then he said what he likes to think of it is that at some point in time in the far, 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 far future, the doctor regenerates every day into a new Oh, face. God. And it's just so oh, stupid, man. you don't even know what to believe. I would rather go with the... Uh, He's a future I'd doctor. go with the moment than this whole daily regeneration. No, I, I don't want... I would just think he's a future doctor. Just yeah. Not that it's a moment, but... That's, I just... That's, oh. Um, I really don't... I'm a little worried about canon and them screwing up the first doctor, because if they screw things up, then the whole timeline screwed up. So we know we're going to see a regeneration for the first doctor. We know that's happening. I mean, we're pretty sure anyway. I just hope that they don't we may ruin see it. turn into the second doctor, but we may see at least the, the light and all that. We may. They may get a different actor to play Patrick Trouton's part. Um, we know Bill was in it. Didn't say nothing about Clara. I thought Clara was definitely in it. Unless that's the secret of it. They're actually going to keep a secret. What do you think, Chris? It wouldn't surprise me if uh, Clara and Bill are the reason he regenerates into a woman. Mm. And also, um, Matt Lucas said he's uh, not done with Doctor Who. So that confuses the shit out of me, too, because it doesn't look like he's going to be in the first episode. So I don't know. 
unless of course was it Bradley Walsh? Mm. Unless Bradley Walsh is Nardo and Nardo has a new body. Which I don't know. Bradley Walsh is so big with the uh, game show thing, he might be just a, a a random character that pops in as a companion. Now, I've said this to somebody before. Um, odds are we're not going to see the Daleks in Series 11. But I'm pretty, like, sure that the Daleks are going to have a huge S arc in Series 12. Pretty sure, because again, you got to get people used to Doctor Who that are not in fans of Doctor Who before, before you can hit them with the greatest villain known to man for Doctor Who, like Daleks. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a you know startup period for Series 11, but then once 12 comes along, whenever that's going to happen, the Daleks are going to have a huge part of that. But again, because they're going to have to have because this whole little here's your Dalek thing. Just throwing them in just for, like, here's your cameo so we can get our contract done. That's going to get old real quick as well. It's been getting old, though. We, I mean, yeah. and we've had that. We've had Matt Smith look into the Dalek thing in Wedding River Song in the beginning. We've had them appear in Waters of Mars, like, five mm -hmm. seconds. I mean, it's been there. It's been there. So, you know, it, it's happened that way, you know. Um, it's been old. But, again... If that's what the contract is, that's what the contract is until they can actually use them. You know, if they don't do it, it's over. And would you really want the Daleks to be out of Doctor Who forever? No, not really. So, I don't know. What do you think, Chris? Other than that, I mean, you think, uh, are you think you're going to enjoy the Christmas special twice upon a time? I think so. What about the Doctor, the new Doctor, Joe no. Whitaker? No, no matter what, right? Nope. Well, I, 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 can't, I can't say that, but. I'm not looking forward to it. Look forward to that. I mean, that's the next thing to look forward to really right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Doctor Who, I mean, everything else is done for the year. So, this year anyway. Unless Snoke appears in Doctor Who at some point in time. Right. <laughs> We're not going to say nothing about that. All right. On that note, take care. Bye for now. <laughs>